One, two, three. Yo, 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 it's Storyteller. I'll let your boy. Yo, 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 it's yo. Storyteller. I'll let your boy. Yeah, I'm on, uh, I got a little partner right here named JJ Money. JJ Money, get money, JJ, JJ, two swag, whatever you want to call him. Yeah, and, uh, I got a question I'd like to ask you. Uh, what are you doing? to uh, achieve your goals at this moment in time? Working on myself. And that's the best answer that you gave me. It's like, I realize that I need to be okay before I can like make sure everything around me is okay. And like the more that I work on myself, the more I like think about what I actually want and how to get it, the more that it actually works out and like manifests. So yeah, working on myself, man. Okay, so... Uh... What do you see yourself in 10 years? Definitely a millionaire. And honestly, because I, you know what, that's that's where I see myself in five years. I want to be a millionaire by in, in five years, but in 10 years, I want to have like, I don't want anybody in my family to work. I, I see myself at the top of like, whatever industry I'm in. I see myself as one of the like, most respected photographers that people have seen. I see myself as an icon. That's, Cause that's what I want to be. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with uh, dreaming and thinking big. You know, that's a that's a good thing. That's a good thought, and I hope that you achieve that as well. You. you know, but uh, what are you doing to uh, complement that? To, oh, definitely working. Cause one of the biggest things, that, like one of the biggest realizations that I had in 2020 is you can't do anything without putting the work in. You can't do anything without putting the time in. That means actually knowing what you're getting yourself into. So like, for example, some photographer, although I may like think I know everything, I wanna know everything about my field. That way I know how I can actually advance. That way I know what everybody around me is doing, how they're moving, how like, just researching. So researching, that's probably the biggest thing I'm doing outside of like actually executing stuff. But yeah, preparing myself for the future. Okay, then, yeah, I like that, and, uh, so, what do you think about race? About race. I believe that there's definitely inequality, which is something that obviously everybody is seeing, whether you want to admit it or not, like, you've seen inequality between races, like, you've seen black people be treated terribly. Like you just going about your day, like you seen, like all that stuff is very obvious, and like I think that we're past the point of like it being fixed. I think it needs to be restructured, and like that's just all in the system around race. About race in general, I think race makes people very special. I think that race gives you a sense of identity, because like one of the reasons that I'm so comfortable with myself is because I grew up around black people, because like I grew up around people like myself. So like if you're if you're not familiar with yourself, then of course you're not gonna be familiar with race. Like if you're not familiar with like where you come from, of course everything's gonna seem foreign to you and you're gonna do everything in the way that like the people that have no race, white people tell you. And like that's what I've seen from experience. Like if you don't actually know where you come from then like you're bound to get consumed in the oppression unless you tend like stand up for yourself research for yourself and like actually make the effort but like in terms of just race in general i think race is something that makes people special okay then i appreciate that and uh uh how do you feel about me nate can i tell you something you're one of my favorite people at this job because of, like you were one of the people that always kept it real no matter what like if I saw something that like I thought was a little weird, I would look over at you or you already one step ahead of me. Like, you were one of the first people at this job to tell me what it was. Cause like, of course, you know, I work with like older black people at work. They were also kind of part of the system. But like, you were somebody to like, show me what, show me how shit actually was versus how it was presented. And, like, that's, that's a lesson that I took like outside of just this job. Like, I apply that to everything. 
like my relationships, my friendships, my like personal life, like all of that. And like, yeah. So I think you're a very real person. I think you're a very cool person. You're a very collective person because like you don't get out of body. You don't get upset, mad, visibly unless it's justified. And like, I don't know. I think you're a real cool dude, man. Well, I appreciate you coming out doing this interview. You know, y'all know I'm the storyteller and I love the youth and I got y'all back. One love.